this video we'll see how we can uh, change the spark configuration at runtime uh, for example if you want to change the uh, spark configurations at runtime by passing a value as a parameter to the uh, glue job so in this example in this demo we're going to see like uh, by passing a spark configuration at runtime as an input parameter to a glue job we're going to change the spark configuration here uh, before uh, going into change the spark, spark configuration let's see what's the actual spark configuration in glue job then we can later we can change how we can pass the value and change the spark configurations uh, this is the typical uh, glue job which we saw in the previous uh, demo so at the, at the end I have added this code here so here I am just taking the, all, the, uh, all the spark configuration here with the help of spark context dot get conf not get all so this is going to get all the configurations here I'm just going to printing all the configurations in the log here now let's I'm going to run this uh, run this job and let's see this actual spark configurations the remain everything is same here the job details I'm, I'm using this glue dev am role here which will have access to s3 bucket as well as cloudwatch and I have this input parameter here the input parameters the old uh, the folder name here so that's what I have here and let me run this job so I was running now let's wait for this job to complete so now I have crossed the three files now here wait for the job to complete it's still running job is still running So we succeeded here. Let's go into log and verify this. The parameters, uh, I mean the configurations. So if you could see here, so these are the uh, configuration values here. For example, here the network timeout is 600. The network spark driver code is equal to 4. Like this we have different spark configurations here so this is the default one i did not change anything here this is the default configurations the help of this configuration only entire glue jobs runs so in case if you want to change this configurations how we can change this one that's what we're going to see today so this is for example here the network timeout is 600 uh, let's change this to something like 300 here so in order to do this what we can what we can do is uh, if we go to documentation page if you want to change the config you can use this in the input parameter you can give this value as and the key you have, in the key you have to give as hyphen hyphen config then you have to give the actual value this is the actual value here if you want to give more values and you can give again hyphen hyphen config then again you can give the next value here that's what i'm going to do now so i'm going to uh, take this value this hyphen hyphen config cnf conf then i'm going to give the actual value here for example here Group job and the job details under advanced properties go to the job job parameters add new parameter here hyphen hyphen con f then you have to give the actual value here I'm gonna give the value as 
Spark Network Timeout. And the value is here. The value is 600. I'm going to change it to 300 here. Similarly, if I want to give, uh, if you want to change another value, again you can use here if hyphen hyphen confirm, then you can change the value like this. So I'm going to do only for one configuration here. So I'm going to I'm going to give the configuration. I'm going to change the network timeout to 300 here. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to run this job now. I'll keep this log open so that we can see this is the previous value and now see what is the latest value now so this one we are changing this parameter runtime so this you can value you can give it runtime and you can change the configuration instead of hard coding the value in the job script you can run as a input as a input parameter to the job and can change the value at, uh, at runtime go to the run details it's running now let's open this details let's wait for the job to complete Uh, this is the documentation page that's what you could see here this key in the key value of the us hyphen hyphen corner of the value you have to give the actual value here equal to and if you want to give more values give like this you can give here see you here is again more values like this you can give here So this is really very helpful based on your requirements you can run this uh, change this configuration at runtime and you can run your job for example if you want to run the job with more worker nodes then that also you can uh, uh, mention here for example here like your driver course is here's four if you want to increase that or if you something called like you have executor also here if you want to change the change number of executors that also you can do like executor course is equal to four if you want to change this you can change this value here like any of the values here like the default value is here if you want to change any of the default value you can go and change in the spark configuration like this so in that way you don't have to keep uh, modifying your job just by passing input parameter you can just run your jobs it's job is completed now let's go into the log now let's go into the logs now Check for this value. Spark uh, network timeout. So yeah, previously it was 500. So if you see, it was 600. In the new one, we change it to 300. Yeah. So in this way, we can change the configuration at runtime. So that's what we mentioned. That's what we have done here. So if you go into this uh, job details in this advanced properties, the config could see the value goes what we are passing here this is being consumed and that's what reflecting in the uh, job logs yeah that's pretty much for this uh, parameters how we can uh, pass parameters to blue job and utilize that parameter at runtime and make our uh, make our uh, uh, job reusable for example if the same job have to run for multiple times for different input values then we can use this job parameter functionality to use uh, run the job at multiple times with different values instead of hard coding all the value inside the job it's better if you pass the input parameter based on the input parameter we can make the job to run as per our requirement that's pretty much for this video and thanks for watching